the early round starters certainly had the better conditions on day two of the ISPS Hander Australian Open. Kate Burton alongside me, Alison Whitaker, and Ali Jin Young Ko has continued in imperious form. She has, and I think she's introducing herself to worldwide audiences. A lot of people in Korea have known about her for quite a while, but uh, she's going to probably become a household name rather quickly this year in 2018. She certainly is, but it's um, proven to be a very difficult day for some of the very best. Yeah, the afternoon rounds in particular, I think it was just a, a little challenging out there trying to club yourself, and it is a second shot golf course. We've said it before, middle of the green, putt to the pin, and then you're in the gold, but it wasn't so easy. Sometimes it's not an easy game. Why don't we have a look now at the highlights though with Quentin Hull. The only player to make it look easy in the end was Jin Young Ko, but she did bogey her second and third holes today. Started on the back nine, it got really hot when she played the front. That was a birdie on three. And also some great golf from the young Japanese star, Nasa Hataoka. And even past 72 yesterday, that on the way to a five under 67. So she's five back. The defending champion, Hana Jang. This was an eagle attempt on nine. Rolled it back for birdie. We saw her charge on the Sunday here last year. She's seven back, as is the case for Olivia Cowan of Germany. This with a birdie on five. Three under for the tournament. Mo Martin, a very solid day. And again, putting herself in a challenging position. The only birdie of her day came at nine. She's four under for the tournament. Virgin Choi, leading amateur here last year. On 10. The highlight of a one under 71, which has her six from the lead at four under. Sun Young Yu at six. That was a birdie that went down and has her just four from the lead at two under 70 today. But the story belongs to this young lady, Jin Young Ko, her second into the fifth. That hot streak that she had on the opening combination of holes. And she's playing brilliant golf. I first played in Adelaide in Australia. so. I'm, and then I never try this course condition and then and this weather too. So <laughs> everything is first time to me. So just I enjoy it. Yeah. So she's never played the golf before, never played to, never come to Adelaide before. But look at that, an emphatic lead by three shots over her nearest challenger, Emma Talley, who's ranked 350th in the Rolex rankings. GA Shin just one shot back four off the pace and she's just celebrated her 50th win on tour and a very good round today of 67 for the young Japanese teenager Nasa Hataoka. Well Ali it's going to be fascinating some great players on that leaderboard. Nasa Hataoka she's a player to look out for. She is and you know she played in Japan for the predominant part of uh, the end of last year really and so she's a household name there. We've got Jin Young Ko in the mix. I mean, I, we're just getting to know everyone in World Golf at the moment, aren't we? <laughs> we certainly are. And then, of course, G.A. Shin just lurking and set to pounce. It's going to be a fabulous weekend here at Kuyonga. This has been day two of the ISPS Handa Australian Open. Look forward to having your company over the weekend.